Hello, my beautiful people. This is Evelyn, and I'm going to show you how I make my own embellishment um, using puzzles. And this is what the puzzles look like. Now, they come in different size. I work, um, there's a small one here. Of course, it's not here right now. Oh, this one, sorry, I have a bag down here. Okay, I got, well, I'm going to work with the big one because I want you to be able to see it better. And, you know, but you can work with any size. Like, they got the small ones, they got these small ones that I work with. Well, the one, the small ones, it, it looked like this. I attach it to a handmade flower that I made. Instead of using the center with bees or whatever it gives you the blank, I decided to put my embellishment puzzle into the middle of this um, flower. And look how pretty it came out. It's got a little, well, the background you can't hardly see, but I did this with black embossing. That's what we're going to work with, guys, embossing first. So let me um, tell you what you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need Versamark, so you can ink up your embossing powder. I have three colors, that I'm, well, four colors, because um, I want different colors on my, in my puzzles. You're going to need a gauge wire, and this is the real thin one. I think, what is it, the higher goes, the thinner it is. So I say probably like 20, if, my, if I'm correct. If I'm not, then correct me below. Um, cho choice of your bees. I like to coordinate this with the embossing powder that I'm going to be using. Um, some jump rings. And if you only have one color, just so you know, like um, I had some that I, I didn't have jump ring in gold. So I took my gold leaf to pen, the 18 karat gold. I have it in different colors, but um, today we're going to be using silver. And some jump rings, your twos, you're going to need a punch hole. And to do your dangly bees, I don't know if I show you guys this here, but instead of having it hang, I decided to kind of come around and brought it up here. And then I added a flower, a bee, and the three colors that I, um, for this one it was gold and blue and go. Man, I only used two color on this one. Today we're going to use three. I'm sorry, four. So, I'm missing anything. Mm, I guess that's it. If I did, then, you know, I'll mention it again. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take um, this embossing and we're going to thicken them up. My base color is black. I love to start with black. And the black is going to be repeated four times. And the reason for this because I want my puzzle, my puzzle to be very thick. But you know, it, it just the more embossed and the more it gets thicker and thicker. And then not only that, it allows other color to come in without having to use your Versamark. You see what I'm talking about. So the first step, of course, the first um, thing you're gonna do on my mat, you're gonna juice it up with your Versamark. You want to make sure you get it all over and nice and wet. So when you put your embossing, and make sure you have a tweezer, guy. I forgot to mention that too, because you need your wire cutter. You know, the stuff that you work with to make bees. Um, what's my tweezer? I'm going to get that ready because I'm going to do some lifting. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to um, do black. Now remember, I'm going to do this four times because I have did this before. It's up to you. You know what I'm saying? But for me, I'm going to do it four times. So what I'm doing is I'm pouring all the embossing to cover up my puzzles. Put it to the side before I knock it down. All right, now I've got to look for where I had it. Okay, I lift it up. I usually turn it over and press down more so I can get... more of the embossing, all right? And you see how it gets some certain area gets a little light and then some gets dark, but that's okay. You're gonna fix that up. Let me see if I can just uh, put it down. Oh, it, it works. But I'm not gonna worry about that because remember, we're gonna go. We're gonna do this three times. Well, this is the first one now. So before I stop blowing that using my heat gun, you know we gotta put this back in the container. Otherwise, you have it flying all over the place. Okay, now I'm going to do it, I'm going to use my heat gun, and I'm going to take my black, as I'm working on it, I'm going to keep on 
Because once you use it, you don't need to use it again with the verse and more. So right now, excuse me for the noise. And for those who never emboss or use a heating gun, how you know it's finished is by when you put it on, wherever that shine goes, then you know it's, you know, it's melting in, it's ready. You want to make sure it all shows shiny. It's got to be, the whole complete of your puzzle, it's got to be shiny. Alright, so now it's nice and hot, I'm going to pour my embossing powder again. Now this is the second one. Tweezer, tweezer. Tap a little bit. You don't want to tap that much. Put it to the side. Oh, no. I'm going to pick up that paper. Okay, put back your... I wish I had it in a bigger container so it won't take so much time. But if I don't do this now, I have flying embossing powder all over my face. Okay. Now, this is, what I said, this is my second or third time, Jesus, I'm glad. Um, I think this is my second one, right? I hope. So, I'm going to hit it with the gun again. So, as my embossing is nice and hot, I'm going to come back with the black again. And it depends how you want it. I like my uh, my puzzle piece that I'm working for embellishment. I like it to be very thick. So it depends on you. I know it's not fun watching this. Ah! For those that uh, know how to use embossing powder or the heating gum. But sometimes you got the newbie that's just starting to learn. So I like to explain a little bit more. And this is just for the newbies. That's how we all learned when we became crafts that we learned from each other, honestly. So, if I explain it and talking too much, it's just because I, you know, we have to think about the newbies that are just starting to craft. Alright, so um, this was my second, I mean, this was my third. I think this, this will be my third, well, my third time, right, my third time. And I'm going to see if. Maybe I don't have to do the fourth time. We'll see. So you want to make sure, you, if you, I mean, for the newbies, you want to make sure that everything is nice and shiny. All right. I would like to do it one more time, but the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave it like this. But you see how nice it's hot? That's why I can't show it to you because right now it's hot. All right, so now I'm going to add my other colors. Like I said, if I had more time, I probably would do this one more time because I like to be thick. So I'm going to use this aqua color, like a bluish aqua color. And I'm going to open this up. Now, I'm going, I'm, I don't need the very small marker because remember, the embossing that I have here is so thick that when you start heating the heat, it gets hot. And then you can stop pouring in. So I'm going to do is heat up my puzzle again so I can get that to be cut on. The important part is be soft. So it depends on where you want it at. Then you're going to hit it with the gun. And you gotta move it around because now the embossing, I'm sorry, you have to move it around because the embossing, since it's so thick, it's like liquid's trying to float, you know, it's, it's floating. So I don't want it to go over the, um, the puzzle. That's the reason why it's good to move it. Okay, and this is what it looks like with the blue. Now we're gonna come in with the silver. I'm going to heat my puzzle again so we can soften up the embossing powder. Sprinkle a little bit whatever area you want it in. 
See how thick it grabs right now? No! You gotta watch it. Because that's it, it's still warm. Oh my god, it's so pretty! Oh, I like the way the silver looks with the aqua blue. Let me see if I can put some in here. Put some here. You can put a little bit over the blue, it's up to you. Like, here I'm gonna put some here. All right, and I think that's going to be enough for the silver. So, so far, I used three colors. Now, my last one is going to be the white one. Oh, this is beautiful. Wait till I give you a close-up. It's like magic. If you actually do this, you're going to get a kick out of it because you can see it floating, trying to move whatever it wants to move to. This thing is real hot, so please be careful. Do not pick it up. Um, I'm going to get my, what's my, white embossing powder. Um, I didn't get the fine one. I got the ultra thick embossing powder. They do have, um, different, um, how you say, uh, the thickness, the powder. Sometimes some of them are fine. That's the one I like to work with. But the white one, I couldn't find it. So I had to get the ultra thick one, which is more grainy. So that's okay. It still works. All right, let me just try to move this puzzle because it was almost getting stuck. Oh, I can lift up to show you what it looks like before I add the white. Look how pretty. All right, so let's start with the white. I'm going to heat my gun again to heat it on the puzzle so it can get nice and soft. I'm going to grab my white piece in my hands and I'm going to sprinkle them in. See how that looks. Oh wow. Very pretty. That's crazy how it just moves. Okay, that is beautiful. I'm being honest, I have to say so myself. <laughs> but it came out really nice. I like the colors. So you saw me, I used three colors already on it. And like I said, you can add the bigger the piece. I have a die cut. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, from AccuCut. Where did I put it at? And I just had it because I wanted to work with it. Oh, God. Where did I put it? You know what? I'll show you in the next video how big this puzzle piece. I can't believe it. Oh, I had it on top of the table. Let me see. I'm sorry guys, I really wanted you to see this. Oh, here we go. So you can see, I have a die cut from AccuCut. And these are the, look how big these puzzle pieces are. But this makes a great, like a, maybe an altar or something like, you know, just decorating all kinds of stuff with this big one. But that's for another video. Alright, now that I'm finished um, with my color, I'm going to take my gold pen and I'm gonna you know what I don't know oh, should, should I do gold because it has some gold on it you know what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use gold um that is I'm sorry instead of the silver one I'm going to do it with my my gold it might look nice you know and what I'm going to do I'm just gonna edge I'm just gonna um ink it up on my edge side so it's going to be like this. I don't want to put too much. And if you don't like the way it looks, you can go over with any color you want. Like I'm just not, I'm trying to do this as quick as possible <laughs> so you won't be boring. And try not because it's still warm. So if you press hard, you're going to have a dent. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to show you another piece that I did almost like this, but I have the gold 
section you know let me show it to you right now all right so now that i edged this up just be careful even though the 14 carry go i'm sorry 18 carry go release the pen it does dry fast so i have three colors i have silver gold and copper now this is what it looks like when i edge it it's so pretty i hope you can see that but i'll take a picture in the end of the video okay like i always do this is the one that i finished earlier which i love love this one too look at this one so i want to add the um, beads and get it ready and maybe if i get to finish it today i'll show you that one at the end of the video i mean well pictures of it all right so now that i'm finished with the embossing i'm going to take my um puzzle put it to the side and we're going to work on our let me put this right here on the beads Oh my God, as much as I clean up and I clean up and I clean up, you still, that's why people say I rather um, use the melting pot, which is, it is faster and easier and less mess. The only thing what I don't like about it is when you dip it in and you're taking it out, I always have a trouble of, how you say, like, it, it, oh, like, if you're taking it out, all that drip, if you, you have to do some cutting. Like, this way, I find it much easier. I mean, that's if I'm working a big project, I'll use my melting pot. But this way, I think it's easy because we, I'm working with small objects. So, it really depends what you work on. It. All right. So, now that I, what's wrong? I don't want to lose my, um, my piece. Matter of fact, maybe, let me see. So the colors that oh and make um I chose these color of beads because I wanted to coordinate the color that I'm using on my puzzle piece. Now I'm using a gauge and I'm pretty sure what is it the the high the number the thinner it is right I hope I'm correct about this I probably gonna say this is like a 20 or 18 gauge it's not that thick but it's flexible to work with now, I'm not good at this, I'm going to be honest with you, because I do not need jewelry, so I try my best. So, what I'm going to do is, for your newbies, there's a lot of tutorial how you can, how you can um, make your eye pen, I think that's what you call. <laughs> I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to make my loop. I know I've seen them doing it this way, I think they take it. And then, let me see, is it to the edge or to the end? Let me see. Let me see if I do this right. Because with my block, I probably will mess this up. Okay. So, and then you grab your nose, uh, nose pliers. And I think I'm doing this wrong. But it's okay. Because I will fix it. I am always fix it. And the right other one. Should have gone deeper. I just need a loop for the bottom piece so that these will come out. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to close this up with this. Oh, come on. Like I said, I'm not good at this. But this is just to hold the bead. Alright, so the color I'm going to put is, first, I'm probably going to use one of these, um, what do you call like spaces? Um, I don't know what they call them, but this is what it looks like. So I can put it between the bees. Let me show it to you. I call them space. I don't know. Spaces of what? So I'm going to probably put this one first and use a small one. Nope, this is not going to work. Nope, this is not going to work. Alright, let me do the bee first. So I'm going to take my, my blue one, it's a baby blue color, then I'm going to take the space saw, oh I got one or two, then I'm going to add A, like a silver one. I don't have no oh, I have one big silver. I was trying to look for small silver. Um, I can't believe I can't find one. I found a, you know, one of the big ones, which I didn't really wanted to use it, but I'm gonna have to anyway. So I'm gonna come with this. I mean, it doesn't look bad. That's cool. 
Then I'm going to come with another spacer, which is a small one, not using the big one. And then what color, what color? Oh, I'm using gold. Alright, so I'm going to come with a gold. No, no. This is fun, right? Just watching me. If I can go, like I said, I'm still learning. I, every time they told me they're going to come by and teach me how to fast forward this, something always come up. Then I'm going to put one more spacer. And come back with the blue. This one already had a face on. Oh, I didn't have a face on. Let's come on, baby. Be nice. Okay, I'm going to close it here because I'm not sure if I'm going to have more room for this. So I'm going to twist this. Oh, before, yeah, I'm going to twist this. In fact, let me trim it down a little bit. Watch it when you um, cut them up because they fly all over the place. So I'm going to make a, a loop. I'm going to try to make a loop. I think I put this uh, wire too short. I don't know how you guys do beat it. I'm going to take, I'm going to take a course for that. <laughs> I swear. I'm, I'm terrible when it comes to this. Let me flatten this up with my flat ones. It doesn't want to work. Okay, let me do it this way. All right. All right, so I, I got a loop already. And now I'm going to use a jump ring. I don't know if I showed you how to be. I just wanted to show you how it looks. You know what? I'm not even going to go with the bead. I mean, this is what it's going to look like. Just to give you an example. Um, okay, guys. I did one mistake, of course. Well, this one I did. I don't know if I mentioned before anything, before you embossed it to punch a hole, what area you want it into. I don't, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. But if I didn't, please. Before you use your embossing powder, make sure you punch a hole wherever area you want the, um, the bead dangling. Okay, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. So I'll mention on the first one, on the first um, part, you know, just to make sure you got you make the hole before you put your embossing. So I'm going to do it now because what happens, this is what's going to happen. All right, I'm probably going to have my dangling right here. Never. Oh, oh, not bad. Oh, well, of course, because look what I just did. I me, I went too far out. I'm going to use the other one since I already had that one in. It does have a little bit of blue. I don't know if it's going to come out. I really, really like this. You know what? I'm going to try the other way and try to do something with that other piece with my punch. I just messed that up. Mess it up. Let me go the other side. And hopefully make sure that in the middle. Okay. Alright. You still can do it because I thought what happened is it's gonna crack and yes it did it does crack a little bit. So that's why I said you know punch the hole first. Alright and then I'm going to take my jump. I was I was gonna shorten this up but you know what? I'm going to show this, especially for the newbies. So I know one thing. They take your pliers. You take another one. That's my flat one. Oh. And then they pull it to the side. That's what I was told, right? Like that. I need to make it bigger. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, in, this jumper inside that's <laughs> okay let's try this one more time guys I'm so sorry I'm gonna bend this myself okay where's my puzzle I 
Okay, almost there. Almost had it. Come on, come on. I tell you. Oh, I don't like doing this. I'm so sorry. I hate, I hate to take my time doing something, but you can always fast forward it. It's okay. I'm gonna lock it up before. And I know you take your pliers again, and then you close it right back. Yay! I did it! I did it! And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I forgot to add this up. I'm going to have to open it. Sorry! One more try, but I'm not going to bend it all the way, because I want to put my dangling right into this jump ring that I closed up. Because my brain just froze, and I wasn't thinking. So, let me see if I can do it. Okay, that's better, that's better. Don't come out, don't come out. Yay, look, 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 look. Look how pretty, guys. Look how pretty. And um, the rest of it, like I said, I'm going to embellish it. And once I finish, I'll put a picture in the end of the video. I'm sorry if I had to take a little longer for this. But like I said, um, the main thing is to share you guys what you can do with your puzzles. So start collecting them in the dollar store and you can make a lot of these um, embellishments and use it for any projects that you are making. So I hope I was a little helpful on that part <laughs> besides slowing down. And then for the newbies um, that just happened to stumble over, don't forget to subscribe, hit like, please make a comment. You know, if you have any question, there's a comment below, ask me anything. Um, and hopefully, um, this is it. This is what I wanted to share with you. So thank you for watching and have a great night.